Now, Christian faithful, irrespective of their denomination, have been charged to come together and pray for the progress of Nigeria. This charge was given on the sidelines of the Apostolic Global Network with a the theme, Alignment Conference Nigeria. A cross-section of clergymen who spoke at the conference urged Nigerians to pray more, get united and speak with one voice to bring about God's purpose for Nigeria. The presiding apostle, Donald Ham, who was of the opinion that Nigeria is the country that Africa looks up to, urged the citizenry to come together to make a change. Pursue the things of God, continue to be united, continue to be a voice for Christianity in Nigeria, because this is the country that Africa looks to for leadership. And so I encourage all of Christians in Nigeria, regardless of the denomination that they're in, to come together in a place of unity and make a change. Well, for the federal government, I think um, uh, they, they have the wisdom, but they need to speak with the people. They need to get to the grassroots and know what the people want and relate with the common Nigerians in the streets and the market and the villages and know how to get things across to everyone. I mean, every Nigerian is important, so they should get through to the local and ordinary Nigerian. Meanwhile, the leadership of the Pentecostal Fellowship of Nigeria, PFN, urged all ministers and citizens to align with the purpose of God as there is a silver lining at the end of the tunnel. The Apostolic Global Network is a conference which brings ministers from around the world together, and the conference was the maiden edition in Africa. No human effort, no government can help anybody. No matter how well intentioned they are, it's only God who can help us. So let us align with God. Let us align with the purpose of God for this country. And then good will come. Definitely Nigeria is a blessed country. Nigeria is a land of potentials, great potentials. And those potentials are waiting to become reality. God has put the people in government. And God will support the people in government to do the right thing. And as long as they do the right thing, there will be a quick and fast turnaround for the nation in all sphere of our life, economically, financially, in every aspect. And as it affects the federal government, it will affect individuals also for a quick turnaround for our lives also. Oh, we actually understand that there are a lot of issues due to the removal of subsidy. And then we know that the plight of people is getting escalated every day by day. But nevertheless, the government, the federal government needs to find a means to create palliatives, to cushion the effects of this adverse effect on the world, on the people. Um, the transportation is on the high side. The government needs to see what they can do in the aspect of transportation. And if you look at the rising in food costs, the price of food costs is getting higher every day by day. So government needs to find a way in which to be able to cushion this effect, support the farmers and create some other hello hope you enjoyed the news please do subscribe to our youtube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates